to Tom and Ben News for England. Here is our top stories for um, this evening. <laughs> A fire at a newly opened Pembrokeshire hotel is being investigated by police. <sighs> Four mountain rescuers answering an emergency call for help had a lucky escape when their Land Rover skidded on ice and flipped over to onto its side. <laughs> And a 36-year-old man has died after being hit by a car driven by a learner driver on the A93 in Aberdeenshire. <laughs> and a nine-year-old child has been airlifted to hospital after being injured in a sledging incident in Ayrshire. That's all we've got for our top stories. Let's get... Tom and Ben News for England started. <laughs> Guests were evacuated from the Premier Inn in Haverford West due to a fire outside the building at 6.26 on Sunday. Specialist officers from Dyfed Policies Police are investigating the fire which was brought under control at 7.49. <laughs> It is not believed anyone was hurt in the blaze, which did not spread inside the hotel. Oh. Let's go to other news. Four mountain rescuers answering an emergency call for help had a lucky escape when their Land Rover skidded on ice and flipped over onto its side. <laughs> We have got a video recorded by a cameraman, but we will show you that uh, in a minute. Oh. The three men and one woman from Central Beacons Mountain Rescue were responding to a call for help for a man stuck on Nudie Ridge, Penya Fan. <laughs> However, while driving to the rescue at 9 o'clock on Saturday, their car hit ice near Abba Village and rolled over. <laughs> Luckily, all four were uninjured and they continued on res the rescue on foot. Hooray! Good chill! Uh, what? <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, well, well, they continued the rescue anyway. Oh. Let's get. <laughs> Let's watch the video. This is a video of the tilted over car. It skidded on ice and it fell over. Adam TGM, Tom and Ben News. You're listening to Tom and Ben News with me, Tom. <laughs> and with me, Ben. Let's go on to our next news. <laughs> a 36-year-old man has died after being hit by a car driven by a learner driver on the A93 in Aberdeenshire. Ah. <sighs> Police said the collision happened at Bridge of Gurnier Boulevard at about 10.30. <laughs> a grey Skoda Fabia driven by a supervised loaner driver lost control and struck the pedestrian. He suffered fatal injuries and died at the scene. <laughs> The road was closed for a time, but has since reopened. Police appealed for witnesses to come forward. Ah. A police Scotland spokesman said, 
investigation into all the uh, circumstances of, around this collision is underway and we would encourage anyone who may have witnessed the incident to come forward via the Police Scotland 101 telephone number. Let's go to other news now. Yeah, let's. A nine-year-old child has been airlifted to hospital after being injured in a sledging incident in Ayrshire. <laughs> the Scottish Ambulance Service said its helicopter was sent to the Fenwick area at about three o'clock. It is understood the child involved was a boy. <laughs> He was flown to Crosshouse Hospital in Klimanok. Hmm. Now let's get your weather with Alex Beacon. <laughs> Hello there, it's really cold out there this Monday morning and, uh, well, it's going to stay pretty cold throughout the week ahead. Temperatures well below freezing, even in uh, towns and cities, down to minus one or minus two. And in many rural areas, minus five, minus eight. Some places negative double figures. There are some snow showers coming in across uh, southeast Scotland and northeast England. Some showers of rain, steep and snow across northern Scotland. Wherever we've got any type of shower, there's the risk of things being icy out there this morning because those temperatures are down to freezing or a little bit below. But some showers across more western parts of Wales and the far west of Cornwall, chiefly of rain, although some snow mixed in as well. And um, Combining with all the uh, frost and the wintry showers, there are some fog patches also. So not a very pleasant journey into work this morning. You have to scrape your car as well. Through the day, not much change. Some places will see sunny spells through the day. We'll continue with the risk of snow showers across northeast England, southeast Scotland. Some showers grazing west Wales and western parts of Cornwall. Temperatures struggling, to say the least. Where we see a bit of sunshine, we could reach four or five degrees. But um, where it stays grey, temperatures are going to struggle to get much above freezing. Now, weather front approaches on Monday evening. Now, often these weather fronts coming in from the Atlantic will try and bring milder air, but this one's not really going to succeed because the air is so cold across the UK, the mild air is much further west across the Atlantic. We've got the cold air, that weather front will introduce moisture, and that combination provides the risk of snow, uh, particularly for Northern Ireland during the course of Monday night and into Tuesday morning. That weather front continues to slowly edge its way into other western parts of England, Wales and Scotland. Like to see some snow on Tuesday across western Scotland, in particular, chiefly rain further south. Many central and eastern areas dry and bright. It'll be a bitterly cold start to Tuesday. And again, temperatures in many places struggling to get much above freezing, despite some sunshine. Those weather fronts stagger a little bit further eastwards by the time we get to Wednesday. With low pressure systems nearby generating showers. We've still got the cold air, so the showers will have a wintry flavour to them. Sleet and snow is possible across East Anglia and the southeast. Snow showers too across northwest Scotland and Northern Ireland. In between, again, there'll be dry and bright weather, but again, it stays cold as it does throughout the working week. Continued risk of some sleet and snow showers, and also likely to continue to see freezing fog. Alex Steacon, Tom and Ben News. Thank you, Alex, for the weather. Now, that's all we've got for today. Please subscribe and have a nice day. We will see you later. We might not. We might see you tomorrow. <laughs> and don't forget to tell your family that Sports Day and 60 Seconds are coming out soon. <sighs> they might have done it. I know they might have, but... I'm just reminding them for those the for those of the people that have not done it yet. Okay, well we're gonna have to go now, so let's end the episode right now.